This is the Edifier D32. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but it's a tabletop Bluetooth speaker. What's the difference? There are some differences. You're not going to see a portable Bluetooth speaker with an MDF cabinet and a nice black walnut finish. And check out these nice speaker feet to reduce vibration to the tabletop or component underneath it. You also have this nice cloth speaker grill. It kind of gives off a 70s vibe and I like it. On the back of the D32, we have these two nice base reflex ports, a very sturdy and deep handle. We have the power connector, a USB-C connection, and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port. Most Bluetooth speakers have a USB-C charging port, but not the D32. The D32 has one of these old school AC power cords. I don't know how you feel about this, but I love it. I have seen so many manufacturers put in a USB-C charging port and then say in the manual, you must use a one amp charger. You must use a two amp charger. What is the point of a universal cable if the charger is specific and you don't even supply it? I'll take AC power any day of the week, especially for a tabletop speaker. The Edifier D32 was so pretty, I couldn't possibly have any complaints, could I? Um... Can you guess what it might be? What do these buttons do? Edifier did label the buttons, but you have to be standing over it to see what the labels say. If you want to use flat buttons, great. They look beautiful, but put the labels here or make these buttons thicker and put the labels here. This is the least visible part of the button. Okay, yeah, you could have put them underneath, but that's, this is this is the second least visible part of the button. This is a beautiful cabinet with plenty of room. You did not have to give me long press, short press, double duty buttons. Give me dedicated buttons. This is a tabletop speaker for crying out loud. Before you get the wrong idea, I enjoy the Edifier D32. This is a very nice tabletop speaker with satisfying deep bass and overall great sound. Edifier does provide an app for many of their products, including the D32. On this app, there is an equalizer function. There are several presets to choose from, or you can define your own. I think it's a seven band equalizer. However, use this with caution because it will allow you to overdrive the speaker, not to the point where you're going to damage it, but to the point where you get distortion, and nobody wants that. The USB-C port allows you to use the D32 as a speaker for your laptop or your tablet or your phone. I connected this to my Android phone, and I had no troubles getting it to work. However, the output volume was a lot less than it was over Bluetooth or the auxiliary input. I don't know why that was. Maybe there's some setting on my phone that I was supposed to change. I mean, it, it, was, it was loud. It just wasn't as loud. There's a 5200 milliamp hour battery in here and they say that will give you 11 hours of playback. However, I see myself just leaving this plugged in most of the time. So um, I would have been just as happy if there's no battery at all, but eh, you can use this speaker as a standalone and I have but I think it would really shine if you got a pair of these and use them in TWS mode, true wireless stereo. I, it would, well, it would double the power and it would sound fantastic. Um, in fact, I, I really, I get the feeling it was designed primarily with that in mind. How do I rate the Edifier D32? It is beautiful and it sounds good, but these buttons drive me crazy. They could have mitigated that issue a bit if they had included a remote, but they didn't. Um, I would give this a four out of five stars with a strong recommendation to buy a second one if you're going to get this. I think it would sound great in TWS mode.